This is a video with five tips and tricks that you can use in your C++ programs. Let's get started. So the first thing I thought I'd share is actually how you can performance test your code. And so let's say that you have a function and that does something. And now this is just an example of something that does not, nothing really. It just sleeps. Um, so what you would typically do is that you would have a start variable that records the current time and then an end variable. Um, and then in between you would do some processing and uh, after that you would take the difference and print this to the console to see how long this this take to execute. Now there is another way of doing this which is called scope profiling with this type of macro that you can use that will automatically do this for you whenever this macro goes out of scope. So the way that this works is just basically you have the constructor and the destructor and in the constructor you pass in the message and you store the current time and the message and that would be the, the actual thing you are logging and then in the destructor you would simply um, write this to the console and this will happen automatically whenever the destructor is called at the end of the, of the scope, right? then you can just make a little macro that wraps the creation of this object. So this is just a little example of how this works. So you can scope your um, code inside of curly braces and with this macro it will be called at the end of the scope. So when the have a function has run here you will get printed to the console how long did it take to execute that. Now we can optimize this a little bit by using a string view instead of a string, which would actually avoid us having to make a copy every time that we want to log something to the console. And instead we will use a reference back to the string literal that is used when we uh, invoke the macro basically. So there will be no copies at all. So the idea here is that this string right here, the literal will end up in the static program memory um, and that is what will be actually referenced in the string view instead of having to make a copy every time. So here's an interesting thing. What you can do to make your program slightly faster when you know how the memory will be used in a very short time span, you can actually set up a very short term buffer, let's say, using the standard PMR namespace for different standard collections like list, vector, map and so on. Now in this case we will use the monotonic buffer resource with a polymorphic allocator and we will specify um, where we want the allocations to take place and this can be done inside no buffer or it can be done inside the stack allocated buffer. Now this will be very much faster as you can see in the listing here above. Now the downside of this is that you need to know beforehand how big your buffer needs to be. Like in this case it's 640,000 bytes. Did you know about the long arrow operator? Well, it can actually be used to avoid having to create an extra integer variable for your counters in your for loop and instead converting it to a while loop. Keep in mind that the loop will be reversed though. Now keep in mind that this is just a silly trick. Tell me in the comments if you figure out how it works. Speaking of for loops, there is also a way to parallelize them and make them way faster using several threads. Now this is using the standard for each and you just need to provide an execution policy like standard execution pair or standard execution seek which would be parallel or sequential. So it can work just like a normal for loop or you can specify it to work as a parallel for loop. Keep in mind that using several threads can lead to data races so use this with caution.